All turf grasses should actually be fertilized when they're actively growing. And in Kansas, we can divide turf grasses into two types. Cool season turf, which you see here, comprises much of the lawns in Kansas, but we also have warm season turf grasses such as buffalo grass and Bermuda grass. Let's start with the cool season grasses first. Most cool season grasses are actively growing during the fall period and during the spring period. And in Kansas, one of the most popular turf grasses is fescue. If you're only going to fertilize once on your lawn, September is the best time to do that. But most fescue grass also will benefit from another application in October or November, as this will actually help the plant build root reserves to survive the winter and enable it to green up sooner in the spring. This method of fertilization in the fall is a good place to start, but for more high quality turf, you may actually need to fertilize a little bit more. May is also a good time to fertilize cool season lawns to keep them healthy and strong throughout the summer period. To reduce the chance of disease pressure impacting our turf grass, it's usually best to avoid fertilization during periods when the turf can be stressed or when it's not actively growing. So fertilizing during the summer is usually not highly recommended. Many of the same rules um, apply to warm season grasses. Warm season grasses include grasses such as Bermuda grass, buffalo grass, and zoysia. And these grasses are actively growing during the heat of the summer. And so the timing difference on these grasses is basically that they need fertilization during the summer period. Often these grasses can be fertilized from one to three times during the summer. If you prefer to, do, to use one application, June is the best time, versus if you use two applications, apply one in May and one in July. As a precaution, it's important not to fertilize warm season grasses after August 15th, as this can actually increase the chance of winter kill injury on the plants. For more information, visit your local extension office or visit our website at kansasgreenyards.org.